In this video I'll show you how to set um, a tour or a sequence up um, on your PDZ. One of the great things about having a PDZ is that uh, you can zoom in, zoom out, play around. So, uh, But importantly you can go to uh, any of these points that you set up um, automatically. So with that let, we've got the PDZ on channel 1 here so we double click on that in CMS to uh, bring that up full screen um, and then you can see that if we wanted to we can control this um, you know on the screen uh, we bring up the um, PDZ controls and up here yep you can see that we can control it with these little red arrows now the problem is is that uh, we need to slow that right down and once it auto focuses in I'm probably looking at the wall here okay so now we're outside we're just going to set this up okay so up here let's make the first preset point um, the number plate and so we've got that all set up to where we want to record our first point so we set the preset and then it asks which preset do you want to set it to so we just click one and that's preset point number one that's recorded inside the PDZ it's not actually recorded inside the CMS software so um, we do need to get into the PDZ later so let's just go and set up a couple of more preset points uh, so we'll zoom out we'll take a shot of the car just go in for a little bit closer okay we'll record that as preset number two then we want to move across to the other car a bit further We'll zoom in. Okay, we'll make that preset number three. Now these could be the door of a, a nightclub or um, you know a place where a fight cut. So you know they're just points of interest. Um, we'll move out a bit further. Um, just zoom right in on this bit of fence paling here because we can we'll make that preset number four then we'll zoom out a fraction These are just playing around to get uh, so that you can get the feel of what we need to do to set up that um, that tour. Just an overall shot, so that's number five. And lucky last. Zoom right out. and we'll shoot straight down we'll be able to zoom in a fraction and we'll make that point number six that'll do us alright now that you've got those six preset points uh, and you can go a lot higher than that there's uh, there's a, a massive uh, amount of preset points you can put in there but that's all we need to do in CMS 
now we need to log into the camera and change the settings there so let's do that now uh, we go down to the um, Internet Explorer and we'll just close down CMS okay let's log into the camera now so this is our PDZ camera we now log into the PDZ tab and you'll see you've got your presets down here so we already have the preset list and we come down to sequence okay <coughs> now in the sequence line here you'll notice that we've got the six uh, no-named presets because they were set up in CMS and we didn't we can't name them in CMS um, we set a dwell time so what the dwell time is is when it reaches the preset point how long it stays there for so in this case I've got it set for 10 seconds uh, and the speed at which it gets there so 0 is really slow and 14 is really fast so if you set the uh, speed to be 14 then it goes from one preset point to the next preset point in the fastest amount of time that it can possibly go and generally that's around about one second uh, if you put it down to 0 then it takes about 5 to 10 seconds depending on how far away the other preset point is so that's that's um, uh, all of our presets there if we wanted to let's say we had 7 learnt in we would just come down here uh, and obviously 7 isn't in that list so we can't set it but if it was that's where you would just click on there go down to number 7 uh, you might have a sequence after that you might want to run uh, another point in that sequence so it doesn't have to be all in a row you can double up so it goes between uh, preset points then we save that of course then we come down to the home now this is an important one if we set home as being on what that means is that when the uh, PDZ is idle that means you're not controlling it after one minute or whatever you set that uh, time to be here it can be up to uh, two hours but if you set that as one once the PTZ has not uh, has not um, been used at all it will automatically start up that uh, that sequence now under here um, in this home setting where do you want it to go so because we want to run that sequence we come down here we choose sequence sequence number one line uh, sorry line number one on the sequence we set it and as soon as the PTZ has been idle for one minute it will automatically start that tour so you can control it whenever you like uh, but as when you stop doing it, stop controlling it, it will automatically go back to that um, preset tour. So let's log back into um, CMS and we'll see how that works. We've opened up CMS, we just need to reconnect to the uh, PDZ and we can see it here and you can see it's running that, that uh, group of presets now. We call that group of presets the sequence and holds each camera for around about uh, 10 seconds and then it goes from one preset point to the other and that's how we set that up in uh, in the camera